Well, my, my father was a, was a builder. My grandfather was also. They started out as carpenters. So when I came up, um, got out of high school, it was just, that was the only thing to do. That was the best thing to do. My dad was a builder too, so I sort of grew up in the building industry and my grandfather, his father, was a builder too. So I just have known construction all my life. I had a taste for building and, and uh, I guess it was a year or so before Frank and I got married, uh, a cousin of mine, Eddie Hagen in Charleston, South Carolina, and I started building houses together. And so I did the decorating and the accounting and stuff and I would go out on my lunch hour from the bank and check the jobs and I just, I love being out on the job site. I, I've seen a lot of pictures, um, especially when they were building the house that they still live in now, um, back in the early 70s, where my sister and I would, you know, we would be on the bulldozer with my dad and um, we were just little toddlers and stuff, but he um, kept us, kept us busy outside doing things and really all the way up through, I would say we went to a lot of job sites. Uh, my dad developed a, a large portion of North Hills of the residential area, and uh, we built in North Hills, um, Ashley Park. Uh, we were in Quail Hollow from the beginning of it. I had a secretary bookkeeper when uh, when we got married, and uh, but Linda became the the decorator. We got more efficient and let the hired person go, and she did it all. She did the accounting and the decorating, met with the customers. and We started that, out in the that. house that we lived in, in on Curry Tuck, and we had a basement. And that's where I had all my interior design uh, equipment and stuff that I worked with, wallpaper books and that sort of thing. So I would meet with the customers downstairs in our basement to decorate houses until we were able to, the office was big enough where I could be in, in house in the office and have and meet with customers inside the office. It, in, in Raleigh, we, we were a Robon development company, um, and that's how, what we built under for a long a period of time. After I got married, we decided we would like to go on our own, and so we started Frank Roebuck Jr. Builder Incorporated was the name to start with, and we just built one house at a time until and gradually tr transferred over from Robon Development Company to Frank Roebuck Jr. Builder. Then we, we started, we were building, then we got up to probably close to 50 houses a, a year. And um, our marketing people said that uh, your name, you need a more commercial name. So we changed to Roebuck Homes. Well, I think uh, do, being honest, uh, doing what, uh, what you're supposed to do and stand behind what you do. If you don't, if it ain't right, you make it right. We put a foundation in a house and Frank was not happy about it. And uh, it disturbed his sleep and he just couldn't get it off his mind. And he actually, we went over there, he did, and tore the foundation down and started it all over again to get the house positioned on the lot like he thought it should be. And that, to me, was just was a statement made right there. I guess it's really just treating everybody like you'd like to be treated, uh, whether it be customers or people that work for you. Mr. Frank's a firm believer, and his, his philosophy was, you know, the golden rule. And that's just how he's lived his life and treated his, his people and all. Um, you don't survive this long without honesty and integrity and doing what you say you're going to do. We do the right thing, no matter the expense, no matter the cost, we honor our commitments. Um, we, we do what we say we're gonna do, and, and that's really the Roebuck way. There's, there, there's a lot of pieces and parts that, that all come together, but at the end of the day, the Roebuck way is just doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. My dad started building the, the Roebuck Split, and uh, it was very popular. It uh, sold well, so a lot of other builders started build, using the same plan. The idea was that the uh, den would be about three steps below the breakfast area, so that you could sit in the breakfast area and see the den, but it was on a different, different level. But it, it, it was very popular for a long time. If it comes in on a living area, it's a Roebuck Split. It's not a split level. 
And so there's, that's the difference in the two. We built the, the first Habitat for Humanity home in Raleigh in a week. There was, there was a program they started that building a house in a week. And we, t we took on the first one yeah. to build in a week. WRL sponsored it also. So we were, they wanted to, on the six o'clock news. And every day we had to ask people to stay so we had somebody to show. We had finished the work that needed to be done mm -hmm. and for the, for the uh, evening news. We actually uh, finished it in four days because London wanted to go to the beach on Friday. <laughs> we actually have built um, two uh, churches for our church. We built one in Cary. We have a church in Morrisville and we needed a better place, so we, we bought a piece of land on Walnut Street in Cary. A lot of it was uh, volunteer work, both of them, mm -hmm. where we, we and a few other people got out and, and worked, particularly Friday and uh, Saturday. We just have a wonderful group of people to work with and um, very, very happy, very supportive, more like a family situation. Um, some of our employees have been, been around since they were out of high school and they're still there, you know. I've been building Roebuck Homes since July 27th, 1987. I believe our people know and understand that we love them like family. And that's, the, that's also the most fulfilling thing, is for them to, to receive back the loyalty, the commitment, the, the dedication to uh, achieving goals. And it shows with their uh, level of commitment to goals. It shows with the years of service, you know, good times and bad. We won the best uh, community in the U.S and the best infill community in the U.S. through the Best in American Living Awards for that year. 